12 Caribbean countries, including Belize, have signed a joint communique to advance their pro-growth agenda. The CARICOM member states, through the Caribbean Growth Forum, are renewing their commitment to sustainable and inclusive growth. Sophie Sertin is the World Bank Country Director for the Caribbean. First, at the level of a country, we believe that dialogue between the different parts of society um, with government is fundamental to both define and then monitor and implement reforms. And that is because those, the users, those who benefit from the reforms are often um, well placed to um, help the government identify what needs to be done. Um, secondly, why a regional initiative? Um, mostly because um, while you have a lot of differences across the Caribbean, you do have very similar problems around growth, especially today in, a, in an environment with lower commodity prices. Even the countries that until now were doing very well in terms of growth are finding that it's more difficult. So do you, you do see a lot of common interest. Belize's primary focus, as for its reason to participate in the regional initiative, is economic development. The Caribbean Growth Forum provides a platform for private sector and civil society to share views on national reforms. It also helps to follow the implementation of actions that are necessary to drive sustainable growth. The communique um, has been under discussion for the last six weeks as a phase two um, to the Caribbean Growth Forum which was launched three years ago, um, which seeks to stimulate um, economic growth in the region and certainly in Belize. Uh, Twelve countries, as you've said, have endorsed um, the communique um, in looking at how we can um, add new components to the reforms that we had discussed initially. Um, in the last three years, it has become very clear to us that uh, certainly access to affordable capital issues such as introducing uh, more uh, training and support for entrepreneurship and innovation are also critical areas in terms of um, growing our national economies. According to Sertin, there are certain advantages that come along with joint participation. They are benefits, economies of skills that can be reached by working together, sharing knowledge, um, developing regional initiatives. Today, what we have discussed with your government is the need to go further and to really, as I said, unleash the potential, the entrepreneurial, the innov innovative, the creative potential of your own people, going beyond setting up the environment for them um, to, to unleash this potential, but really supporting them in doing, in doing so. How? By making sure first they can access finance to support their own endeavors, their own investment, their own startups, their own um, uh, ideas but also by creating, in, if you want, an ecosystem that would support the development of entrepreneurship and innovation. It, again, in the case of Belize, uh, certainly um, all that we do is to ensure that we can improve the quality of life for Belizeans. So this is not an ac academic exercise for us at all. Um, uh, we have looked at the tax, um, we are currently looking at the tax reform agenda for Belize. Uh, we have looked at land reform issues. Uh, we are looking at um, broadening or outreach for entrepreneurship development and for innovation. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano.